Greetings all you gorgeous garden gnomes and welcome back or welcome to the channel. Kortha Backyard Farms is a food security initiative where we help people start and maintain their own backyard farms completely for free. So if you like our content, you like our mission, please leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. It really helps out the channel and all the funds that we receive through monetization once we get there we'll be going back into the community in this video we are going to start to answer the question does using coffee grounds in our compost or our soil drastically affect the soil ph new growers in particular are susceptible to misinformation that they may hear from more experienced growers in their area or online it is a commonly held belief that adding coffee grounds to your compost or to your soil will acidify the soil, which, depending on who you talk to, could be good and promote the growth of plants like hydrangeas or blueberries, or could be something that is a negative and will kill the microbes or kill off the worms that are in your compost and helping to break down all that organic matter and release the nutrients. Since we receive a lot of coffee grounds from a local coffee shop and we also drink excessive amounts of coffee, I wanted to put this to the test to see how coffee grounds compares to water and compares to a soil acidifier that you could buy at a hardware store or at a garden center. First, let's just cover some basics of what pH is and how it can affect your plant's growth. The pH scale is a measure of the concentration of hydrogen ions. A seven on the scale is considered neutral, so it's neither acidic or alkaline. A level under seven means that the solution is acidic, while over seven, the solution is alkaline. The calculation of pH uses a negative logarithmic scale. So the difference between the concentration of hydrogen from a seven to six on the scale is 10 times. For most nutrients, adequate absorption for plant growth occurs around neutral or slightly acidic pH. For instance, the macronutrients nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, but also micronutrients like sulfur, calcium, and magnesium are all absorbed well at neutral or slightly acidic levels. While on the other hand, micronutrients like iron, manganese, boron, copper, and zinc are absorbed better at lower pHs. The type of crop that one is trying to grow is also a major factor in the interaction of pH and plant growth. For example, blueberries are a crop that are known for preferring more acidic soils. And in fact, their preferred soil pH range tends to be between 5.5 and 6.5. This study found that a pH of 6.5 was actually the threshold or the upper limit of pH where blueberries grew best. Many flowers also like more alkaline soils such as black-eyed Susans, delphinium, foxgloves, goldenrod, and lavender, just to name a few. Hydrangeas are a plant that grow in a range of pH levels and can give an indication of where our soil pH is at. For example, at low pH levels, hydrangeas tend to have blue flowers, whereas at high pH levels, hydrangeas tend to have more pink or red flowers, while at neutral pH levels, hydrangeas will have a purple flower. For the coffee ground test, I compared tap water, our control, and aluminum sulfate, as well as a mixture of coffee grounds and water. The pH of the water was as expected and came out as seven. The pH of the aluminum sulfate mixture was at 5.6. Aluminum sulfate is a readily available soil acidifier 
that again you can purchase at local hardware stores or garden centers and we have used it to improve the growth of our blueberry bushes now if we listen to the common advice of many more experienced growers and gardeners or people just on the internet we might think that the coffee grounds mixed with the water should result in a pH level that is somewhere between the aluminum sulfate and the water. So between 5.6 and 7. Maybe closer to 7 because the aluminum sulfate is a stronger acid. However, when we tested this with our pH meter, we found that there was absolutely no difference between the coffee ground and water mixture with just plain water. They were both at a pH of 7. So the common belief that adding coffee grounds to your soil or your compost will drastically affect the pH of that substance is unfounded. However, this still leaves another question that we will answer in an upcoming video. That is, does the action of composting the coffee grounds result in a lower pH, so more acid in your soil or your compost, as the microbes break down that organic matter and release the chemicals that are within the coffee grounds. If you want to make sure that you don't miss that video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button below and hit the bell so that you can stay notified of when we release that video. If you watch this video all the way to the end, I want to give you a huge thank you. That means so much to us and to our project. And I hope that you really enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, share, subscribe, do all those things if you haven't done them yet. And I look forward to having you in our next video.